Okay, lifting family. So we're gonna be talking about the contraband sports resistance bands. They come in, I believe it's seven different tensions. So there's the orange, purple, yellow, red, blue, green, and black. And so I have the, from the contraband side, I have the purple, the red, the blue, and the green. So <clears throat> as far as the tensions, I have the tension chart. So the orange one, which I do not have, is rated for two to 20 pounds in terms of tension. Then we have the purple from five to 35, which is <clears throat> this band here. So again, we're looking at five to 30 pounds um, with peak tension. Then we've got the yellow band, which I do not have. The yellow band tension is rated for 10 to 45 pounds. The red band is rated for 15 to 55 pounds. The next one is gonna be the blue one. 25 pounds to 75 pounds so <clears throat> again working with a little bit more meat in terms of um, in terms of the tension moving on to the green one this big bad boy and yeah, we're looking at about three fingers wide here 50 to 120 pounds the black band I do not have that's rated for the black band is rated for 75 to 150 pounds each one of these contraband bands are 41 inches long. The, these bands offer a lot of versatility for, for the home gym enthusiasts. They obviously take up a small footprint. I have mine hanging just because I can see them rather than trying to dig through a box of them. It's easily visible here and you could just get a coat rack or something like that and hang them from that. The coat rack's probably five dollars. You might even be able to pick one up at the dollar store. But <clears throat> these in terms of, of strength in terms of, of strength lifts, you can also work on those as well. So I mean, you're going to be able to either do one of two things. So the first thing that we have here is <clears throat> the ability to, to have peak tension at the, at the top of the lift. So when you're going through, say, a bench press, you could attach this to the side of your barbell. And as you are pushing up, you're going to be getting more and more peak tension. That can really help with increasing the ability for lockout. <clears throat> it can really help with stabilization because obviously with a band you're having tension that can sway every different way outside of the weights themselves. You also have the ability to assist yourself with a with a barbell bench. You'd obviously need to be in a in a power rack to be able to reverse the band. So if you have reverse bands, so you are looping it from the top and then looping it around the barbell, and then as you lift the barbell, you are getting assistance from the bottom up. So let's get on to the, the portion where I'm going to show you some of my favorite exercises to do with these bands. So using the, the light purple band that I have, the lighter, excuse me, purple band that I have, I, especially for warming up for bench press, some simple band pull-aparts. One of the other choices would then be looping this around the bottom of your foot. Make sure the bands are even. And then upright. Just doing a, a standard bicep curl. <clears throat> and the reason why I really like bands for, for bicep curls is just because I tend to have an issue with finding peak contraction for different biceps ex exercises. Just because at the top, what ends up happening is that people will come to a peak contraction and they'll start to roll their elbow forward. What ends up happening is that weight tends to rest at the top and then you're allowed to kind of rock yourself back into position to be able to then, again, complete the movement. And there's just, there tends to be some momentum at the bottom and momentum at the top of the movement where you really want to encourage a full range of motion. You want peak tension at the top of, of that movement without creating some assistance or cheating the movement. The next version, would be the triceps push down. So you're looping it around, tossing it around whatever you're going through and then slipping it through and make sure that it's tucked in and tight at the top. And then if you wanna hold on to something, that's fine. And then just a straight push down. You can also do, utilize one band pulling back towards you. And what's nice about these is that I'm getting tension on the outside as well. <clears throat> so when I pull back, I can also extend at my rear delt 
and be able to get some rear delt action into the lift itself. Another one <clears throat> would be doing a, a shoulder press. You could even do an Arnold press or a swimmer's press. Sometimes with the way that the band loops into your forearm, this inner band can kind of get in the way. So that's why it's just really important, just like with any exercise, to control the movement. Otherwise, it's going to be playing a little bit of a guitar string with your elbow. So those are some of the, the basic exercises that I like to do. You can do, again, assisted exercises in terms of looping it around your power cage or your power rack. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> you would just loop it around your barbell on both sides and be able to create an assisted bench press. Here we have it. Contraband sports, check out their resistance bands. I highly recommend them. They do have a good bit of tension and grip on them as well. So again, check out Contraband Sports. As always, thank you for watching. I do appreciate all of your support. If you have not subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Also, please click that thumbs up. I do appreciate all of your support. Any questions, please remember to comment below. As always, thank you for watching and keep pushing.